One of the other areas of focus at this meeting has been in follicular lymphoma. With the 10 year follow up of the PRIMA study and with the emerging data from the Gallium study, the majority of patients have very good outcome. However, there's an important need to identify the moderate number of patients who don't have a good outcome. The best um, way to identify that subgroup is those that have disease progression within 24 months of chemoimmunotherapy. Now unfortunately that's a, a post hoc, we need to wait until that occurs. So we're looking for ways to identify at presentation who that subset of patients may be. Now our traditional indices like the FLIPI score, the FLIPI2 score, or the very simple to apply PRIMA prognostic index behave or perform moderately well. Their accuracy in identifying patients destined to have a progression event within 24 months is only about 60%. That's led to more molecularly based studies such as the M7 FLIPI or the uh, POD24 predictive index that use combinations of gene mutational analysis together with clinical factors and the M7 Flippy has the greatest accuracy in identifying that subset of patients. So these indices are now allowing us to, prior to treatment, identify the group of patients who are at greatest risk that may potentially then be targeted in terms of clinical trials to try and improve and intensify treatments. That's looking into the future. At the moment, the other very promising data is from the Gallium study with using abinutuzumab as the CD20 antibody, very encouragingly has reduced the rate of early progression from 17% in patients with rituximab-based chemoimmunotherapy to 10% with abinutuzumab. So even with our currently available tools, we can reduce that population, but our indices are now available to identify that subset to potentially uh, more rapidly develop uh, more effective treatments.